वेलकम टू सद्गु वीला यूट्यूब झानल थैंक यू फर् सब्सक्रैब अवर् यूट्यूब झानल इफ् यू नाट सब्सक्रैब प्लीज़ सब्सक्रैब अवर् यूट्यूब झानल अंड क्लिक द बेल बटन देन यू विल गेट नोटिफिकेशन वि अड न्यू वीडियो वेलकम टू सद्गु वीला दिस्ज वेंकटेश जेल इन कैमिस्ट्री इन दिस वीडियो ई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन फोर मार्क्स मोस्ट इंपारटेंट क्वेश्चन आफ फस्ट इयर इंटर्मीडियट विच ईज मोस्टली absorbed in previous years first what is heat capacity the heat capacity means the amount of the amount of heat required to raise substance temperature substance temperature through 1 degree celsius through 1 degree celsius once again i repeating the definition amount of heat required to raise substance temperature through 1 degree celsius it is called heat capacity so heat capacity means a substance with initial temperature if you imagine 30 degrees if we increase this substance temperature up to 31 degree celsius we increases the temperature up to 1 degree celsius the required heat is called heat capacity once again i repeating the definition the amount of heat required to raise substance temperature through 1 degree celsius is called heat capacity so it can be represented as c is equal to q by delta t q means heat delta t means change in temperature change in temperature it mainly two types cp and cv what is cp amount of heat required to raise 1 gram substance temperature through 1 degree celsius at constant pressure what is that at constant pressure next c amount of heat required to raise 1 gram substance temperature through 1 degree celsius at constant volume is called cv so cp is equal to qp by delta t cv is equal to qv by delta t so change in temperature may be supplied to system in the form of heat at constant pressure is called cp cv means change in the temperature absorbed by the system at constant value the heat absorbed by system at constant value is called cv so there is a relation between cp and cv so the derivation having the most important weightage in our question now cp and cv relation cp is equal to qp by delta t C V is equal to Q V by delta T. From this, we can written as if you move the delta T to here, it becomes C P delta T is equal to Q P. We know that at heat stored at constant pressure is called enthalpy. So now we are also observing the Q P is heat at constant pressure. So it is equal to enthalpy change. next cv delta t is equal to qv that means heat stored in a system at constant value it is equal to internal energy so it may be written as delta e is equal to cv delta t next delta h is equal to cp delta t we know that enthalpy change in enthalpy is equal to change in internal energy plus delta n rt 
it is the equation which is observed in enthalpy equation so delta h is equal to what is that delta e plus delta n r t if we substituted these three and four equation values in fifth equation we get cp cv relation what are the c third and fourth equation values so delta h is equal to cp delta t so cp delta t is equal to delta is equal to cv delta t plus what is here r delta t so in this equation delta t are the common so cp delta t is equal to cv plus r into delta t if you cancel the same terms delta t delta t here we can get the cp is equal to cv plus r if we move the cv to left side cp minus cv is equal to r this is the cp cv relation from heat capacity most important relation so what is that cp minus cv is equal to r so we proved the cp cv relation click the like button share and comment please don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel click the bell button